All right, there's the manual. And here's the QR code. And then it's asking me if I want to go there. And I do. And there's the, yeah, installation thing. Google Play download, App Store and so on. So, that'll get me straight to there. Installing it. And while that's doing that, I can just slide down there to make sure I both have, I think location is important for these things too as well as Bluetooth. So Bluetooth is there and then there we go. Now there's a shortcut and everything on my screen so it should be here fit there we go. I've dragged it to where I want it and I'll agree okay so once you um, start up you um, see you need to register so I just put in my email address and all that and give it a password and then register now I'm gonna do that quietly when you, once you've gone through all the setting up targets and um, you know like how many steps you want to do and calories you want to burn and distance you want to walk you can just basically come to this screen and here you just tap search and then it shows anything that is in you know available to the system and you basically see this i32 and you connect to that and that basically The mobile phone is basically here and there we go and then um, things like do you want your contacts yes allow manage make and manage phone calls yes absolutely access your phone call logs I suppose yes anything SMS messages, all that kind of stuff. And then run in the background, blah, blah. So you go to set that. Do not turn on power, set has been set. Ignore battery auto optimization, run in background. Okay, and all of this stuff is here. Smart manager, blah, blah, blah. And there's info how to do this here. Settings. Stop optimizing battery usage, yes. All the way Setting. up. Apps is here. And then you find, you can search for it. Fit Cloud Pro. And there you go. Notifications allowed. All the permissions. And then, and not installing anything. All right. I think that should be enough. Let's check this. Call logs only while physical activity SMS denied calendar. Allow that. Camera. Allow while using the app. Yeah. Files and media. Media only. Okay. Microphone absolutely. While using the app. So that's it. Well, you can leave that. Remove permissions if not used. Anyway, I hope you saw some of that. But anyway, I've basically allowed everything here to make sure everything goes. Battery, allow background activity, that's on. Active use, blah, blah. Background use, active for. So basically it is already allowing that because it's to the right this switch so that's forced automatically now that's all good so settings can be gone and here we go 
that has been set also run apps okay so now we've synced up and everything is fine and then I can just basically go and set up anything I want here uh, account management email lab password change all that kind of stuff running background all that if you needed to do it again and version update if there is one already on the latest and you can also log out if you want to not use it for a while or whatever and that's it